tell you one thing. See, Sunday mornings like these makes you feel great to be half alive, eh? <laughs> Honest to God. It's days like this. Well, you only see the positive things in life, you know. Or a bright golden haze in the meadow. Maggie Thatcher's got to... <laughs> well, I mean, you can see any improvement in government already, can't you? <laughs> John Major aims to make Britain a classless society. Well, he's made a bloody good start in government. Because we've made class at all, you know. <laughs> Some place of govern, eh? Some place of govern. There is no place like home. Which, in actual fact, is perfectly correct. Because, see, I was born and brought up there. And it's no place like the home as I remember it. <laughs> but then that is the 90s for you, isn't it? I mean, the outer landscape changes, and so does the inner one. I mean, fur in my liver, two ulcers and a brain scan. I don't suppose I'm the rock of ages myself, am I? <laughs> you know? <laughs> but then again, some things you can always rely on, you know. Ah, look at that, eh? The Sunday morning slop brain doing the south side shuffle, eh? <laughs> eh? Yo, yo, you all right there, pal? Ah, no worries, my man. Don't you worry about it. I know exactly how you feel, eh? Any more dehydrating, you'd be able to use your balls as porky scratchings, eh? <laughs> yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, you're a wee bunk, you. Go on. Be you and wet your neck. I don't want your charity. Did I ask you for a handout? That's the whole trouble with a society. All it knows how to give is money. Oh, I can't see I've had that much trouble in that direction myself, you know. <laughs> Too late for money. Ah! I will see you in hell. Here, cook. Whatever happened to poor but cheerful, you know? <laughs> oh, I love it. Swing it, yeah! What are you doing? Hey, if you do, I'm gonna feel guilty! Bugger it! to do what I've just done. I'll never have a nerve to do it again. Yeah, big gang of you are. I've just saved your poxy life. Yes, my poxy life. But you've saved it for what? For oh, Christ, I don't know. That was a tightly right of pros and cons doing in the back of your bookies line, was it? I didn't want my life. You're the one that saved it. So from this moment on, my life is your responsibility. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you sleep, I will sleep. What do you think of that, eh? Come on, you've not got nothing to say. Oh, come on. The least you can do is speak to me. <gasps> Bastard! That's <laughs> right. Homeless bastard. <laughs> Come on. You enjoying that? 
Enjoying it? You couldn't make any more noise if he sucked up using his ass as a hoover. <laughs> Man's homeless. Aye, well, he's freeze on me. I use my soup as a swimming pool. What's the matter? Who the hell is this gink? Or was he doing these rancid feet under your table? I tell you, you mean me? I mean, I just happened to bump into him in the middle of the... Aye, the Clyde, I know, you tell me. What the hell were you doing in there? What? I was cleaning a piece of it. <laughs> what the hell think I was doing? I fell in, didn't I? Well, if you ask me, you fell in a hell of a lot deeper than you bargained for. You see that? I wouldn't trust that as far as I could throw you. Oh, come on, Mary. Don't be like that. He's just, he's just a pair of old shell that's doing in his look, that's all. Now, right, compadre. Oh, don't you worry about me, Rab, pal. I'm just sitting here, kind of, uh, you know, uh, entertaining the veins. Oh, oh, get to you! Get off! Just be the will you? Oh, come on, Mary. Let him stay, just for a wee tea. You know what they say? There, but for the grace of the big fella. <laughs> all right, all right. Just for a wee tea, and I mean it. Aye, that's your style, Mary. <laughs> You'll hardly know he's here, you know. Hey, <laughs> Rab, what's the verdict then? Good news, old man. You can stay the night. The night? Oh, I don't think so, Rab. Huh? What, what, what do you mean? What do you mean? Now, Rab, a puppy is not only for Christmas, <laughs> is it, Daddy? <laughs> what did you call me? Unreasonable. You're being unreasonable, Mr Nesbitt. Yeah, ass! Now you listen here to me, boy. Don't you get above yourself. You know what they say, servility costs nothing. I'm sorry, Mr Nesbitt, but rules are rules. We've been forced to reduce your entitlement to accommodate your change in circumstances. Circumstances? Since when did I have circumstances? Who the hell tell you I had circumstances? Most of our tip-offs are anonymous, Mr Nesbitt. I'm afraid we don't live in a very ethical society. No, and I'll tell you something else. We don't live in a very bloody fair one here. You see that here? You see that? I hope that dog a subhuman kick out the gut. I gave it, I gave it a roof for it. She'd, I splattered it with the milk of human kindness. Where was your bloody society then, boy, eh? I'm sorry, Mr Nesbitt. If you want to take a lodger into your house, that's your affair, but you must expect to pay the price. It's not a lodger, it's not a lodger. Lodgers is, is handsome big bastards and tight jeans that drive trucks and, and try to slip your woman a length when your back's turned. <laughs> the last jump he had was in shock therapy. Hey, are you talking about me? Now, I'm warning you, if you talk about me, I will commit suicide. I will, you'd better be bloody quick. I guess I might commit murder first. <laughs> you see that? See what I'm up against? You see what I'm up against? You listen here to me. We can do this the hard way, or we can do it the psychotically deranged way. <laughs> Which it gonna be? You're wasting your time. Your threats fall on deaf ears. <laughs> now, if you're wise, you'll be gone before the police arrive. All right, I'm gone, I'm gone. Don't mind your money. You can stuff your money. Compassion is it. Humanity is it. You don't know the bloody meaning of the word. But she has scum, boy. She has scum. You lie, you get a cup of tea out of mean, Fair enough, you might get a, an impetigo scab as a biscuit, but it's a daughter couch. It's a daughter couch because she has scum. She has scum. We ooze, boy. We're warm. We're always ready with the open hand of friendship. I think ever have you tell him. Oh, you shut your face and I'll go up that road. Go on. She says, well, I've got an understanding wife. They did what? Uh, they, they cut one pair of it. Look at Susan there. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, we was getting too much money anyway, wouldn't we? <laughs> I mean, look at her. Java cakes now Wednesday. That's your decadence. <laughs> I had to lash it name, didn't I? I had to make it up to the whale. Make what up to the whale? <laughs> This you big swine. Burnley, son. What happened to your hair? Oh, that. I sent it in the shop for some brow cream. When the hell did it happen to you? I had to get ashamed of. That old swine gave me right where I'm Garbage. 
I don't believe it. It's true, Rab. Look there, Gas. Look. There's nothing the matter with him. He hasn't caught nothing, has he? Oh, Ma. Have you seen my crab ointment and my velvet wife once? Ha! <laughs> 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 ha! I mean it, Rab. He's got to go. How? Oh, I don't know, dear. That's your problem. <laughs> Two ways, mental men, sir. <clears throat> Broth a flips. <laughs> Next practice question Where are the Seychelles? On the seashore. <laughs> Sorry, boss, just a bit of light relief there, no? He's no the rules. No relief before the game. I will give you all the relief you want after you have lifted the coveted Danny's chicken bar. Brain a wine alley trophy, yes? Hello! Hello! That's my boy! <laughs> Thanks you could do with some relief yourself, Rab, judging by the length of your fizzer. What's the matter with you? Oh, no, no, it's just, just happy about a business I tell you about the other day, you know. Christ, look, here he's waving. Say hello or something. That blood sucking swine. I tell you what he did about him, didn't I? Oh, aye, and what was that? Nice to see you again, Fina. <laughs> Kill him. <laughs> Kill him. Jump on top and give him a malky. Like it was a stupid. I can't do that. You wouldn't have to do it. I have got colleagues that will do it for you. You take it from me, Rab. That guy is going to bleed you dry. Let's face it. This one does have never less in the world anyway. No, 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 James. I'd rather try diplomacy, you know. Hey, Rab, give three pounds for a carry out. Three pounds? I haven't got three pounds. Give it, or I'll not be responsible. Oh, you are right, my dear, you bloody pig. <laughs> you try diplomacy, Rab. And when that's failed, come and see me about the Malky. <laughs> Robert who's perplex who says, <clears throat> Well, eh, uh, thanks very much for serving me. It's a short notice, you know. Not at all, Mr. Nesbitt. Now, what can I do for you? <clears throat> right, well, I'll get straight to the point, because, I mean, I know you're a busy man taking in deliveries or whatever it is you people do through the week, you know? The point, <laughs> Mr. Nesbitt. <clears throat> right, well, <clears throat> the fact is, I've got a wee problem, mate, eh, that is driving me up the pole. I mean, it'll be a piece of piss to a skilled model tradesman like yourself, <laughs> you understand, but you will, eh, it's got my airs hanging out the window. <laughs> I kid you not. Come <laughs> yourself, Mr. Nisbet. Here, have a Jeffy key. Uh, no, 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 you, you're all right, you're all right. Uh, oh, to put it in a nutshell, I helped this homeless Huey out the water after he taken a heater off the pier head, right? Now he is dipping my pocket with one hand and pressing my guilt buttons with the other. And the upshot is, it's caving in my nap. I make myself clear. You mean you're on the horns of a moral dilemma? You've got it in one, pal. By God, I like your style, eh? <laughs> I'm going to tell all my mates about you. But you see us, we've got thousands of moral dilemmas. We'll put all the business your way, and before you know it, you'll be opening up your own faith. <laughs> <laughs> now, what is the answer? The answer? I'm afraid it's not that simple. Hey, what do you mean, what do you mean? This, this is a church, isn't it? I mean, if I'm thirsting after swally, I go to the boozer, right? If I'm thirsting after righteousness, I come to a church, right? I mean, I mean, I'll pay, you know, I'll pay. I'm, I'm no in legal aid, am I? It's not a question of payment, Mr Nesbitt. It's a question of doing the right thing. The truth operates in shades of grey. What's that, man? Shades of grey? Look, you see that? See this? See that? That is my electric bill, right? That operates in shades of red. You get the truth? <laughs> For the last time. <laughs> 
I have got a homeless punter shacked up in my billet. If I, if I put him out, he's going to top himself. If I keep him, well, my wage is going to go hungry. Now, what am I going to do? Well, let's see. On the one hand, we've... And on the other, I've got it. Have you tried the Citizens' Advice Bureau? <laughs> ah, stop it! A wee long night of the soul, you know. To be or not to be, that is the question. Maybe or maybe no. That is the answer. Talking to yourself again, Rob. Oh, that's a bad sign. Look, I'm going to put a wee proposition to you, right? And I'm going to put it as considerately and as delicately as I know how. Oh, what's the proposition? Either bugger off pronto, or I will give you the malky. You? Oh, do us a favour. There's more wind and piss in you than there is blowing about that street out there. Sleep well, Robert. Fair bit of fear of God up on me, eh? <laughs> Want to go through with us, Rob? Sure, I'm sure. Cause I do hope to have her. Is that such a place? This is it. She can't sling a rivet in there without hitting a hit man. Well, when the year shut down, it was either that or drive a taxi. You know? She just trust me, Ram. You know because I know these people. I mean, you'll be all right as long as you do as I do. Oh. Better start shaking yourself then, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you same and get your brains a rest for a night. This is a big boy's playground. You might get hurt at. Come on, Rap. In we go. No, Rap. Walk hard. Somebody to do a murder. There's 18 pence in it for you. Aye, I'm looking for somebody to buy a drink. Or there's a sore face in it for you. Do you hear me? That's the game. Blog here looking for a murder, gents. Quiet! Blog here looking for a quiet murder. Is it lawful? That's good. No boundary charges. Murder for govern, gents. Murder for govern. And whoever does it, could you bring us back a pint of milk for the all night garage? There's a murder for govern there. Music lights. Aye. You the operative.
complicated. Hmm. What's her name? Stiff you like. <laughs> See, my man, what I offer is a complete service of the Malky. I'm no cowboy. Me, myself, personally, I have done many murders. I offer a full tariff according to choice. Stabbing, shooting, or encased in concrete in the flyover. Only with the concrete, the price goes up because of the fixed overheads. That's a wee joke, by the way, to relax the tension. So, uh, when can you do it? All right, fella. Oh, pure, pure brand new rab. Uh, a bottle of buck fast and a fish supper, eh? And then that lovely plonking sound your fish makes when it hits the water <laughs> to a high distance. <laughs> See me, rab, from here on in, my whole life was down hell. A hell of a sight quicker than he thinks. What did I say, Rab? Uh, nothing, nothing, nothing at all. <clears throat> Excuse me a wee minute. Uh, I'm a wee tight sensitive, you know. I can't take a pitch when there's somebody standing right next to me. Is that him? Uh, uh, how, how are you going to do it? I'm going to hit him out of the head with a baseball bat. Appliance of science, eh? <laughs> it's a queer thing, life, isn't it? One minute you're giving a guy 50 pence to keep him alive. The next minute you've tapped somebody for 30 quid to get his feed shoved in. I think I've maybe taken the rank turning somewhere. Hey! Oh! Oh, you don't wish that score here! Sorry, 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 near, 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 Pence. Are you all right? Are you kidding? I am a homeless alky. Of course I'm not all right. All right enough. Uh, look, look, uh, yeah, there we go. Go on, be you and wet your neck. I do not want your charity. Did I ask you for a handout? That is what is wrong with this society. All it knows how to give you is money. I'll see you in hell. Where are you, man? Where are you, man? Where are you, man? you save yourself a wetting here. I have a feeling I've already seen this picture. Oh, have you? Ah, well, you win some and you lose some. But there's usually some silly bastard voice for it today. Offers to pick up from you, well, you know. Ah, ah. That was all a bloody scam, wasn't it? Aye. Me and my wee mate. Brilliant, eh? Oh, brilliant. Oh, aye, oh, aye. Chris, oh, I mean, I've got to hand it to you, Keith, you know. I mean, you really had me gone there, you know. <laughs> and there was me, there was me at my wit's end, tapping somebody for 30 quid to get the lovable wee parasitic swine bumped off to you. <laughs> Dearie me. Bumped off? Aye, bumped off. And if you don't sod off, you're going to get in the neck and all. Go on! Hey, hey, Let's take that! Wait a minute, I can't even move for a wee time. I can't move in the car! Here! I assure you, sir, I offer a quick, clean execution. A quick whap to the napper with the bat. Your brains spill onto the boardwalk. A few brief minutes of meaningless twitching and voila. You're deceased. Nothing could be simpler. So shut your gaggy. <sighs> Sorry to interrupt a man at his work and that, but uh, there's been a minor cock up, you know. So could you maybe desist forthwith? Look, sir, I am a professional. When I start a job, I finish it. So bugger off before you get the same. No, I mean, you, you can keep the money. Just, just forget the malky, OK? Where's the fun in that? You keep the money, I'll just do the milky anyway, right? <laughs> Make yourself a complicated at times. <laughs> hey, pal! You all right? And I always thought shite floated. <laughs> Yes, pal. 
Nie worries. Kier, caught up. I hope you're not running a book on this. I'm no license for gambling. That's a slur, by the way. This money's for a sick means. To buy them a university or some rollos or something. Look, here's the opposition. <laughs> Who would play anyway, James? He never said. Ah, just some bunch of basket weaving all legs for Berlin. Relax. We'll demolish them. And now will you welcome with degrees in literature? Philosophy and nuclear physics, the ex Berliny special unit, all stars. Yay! Well, money is not everything. It's, it's a taking part in a kunch. <laughs> See, when you get right, don't you? Your conscience is like a provident line. You're better to pay up pronto, otherwise, your repayments get higher and higher. <laughs> know what I mean? Bless me, Jim, for I have sinned. How have you sinned, my son? I malkied a fella called Spud McKechard and they fished his ass out of the water this morning with a boat who could Wims Bay. Spud McKechard, that muttering bastard. He's been asking for it for years. <gasps> In fact, I'd be grateful if you go for the double. What do you mean? What do you mean? Get that bastard, Jamesy Cotter. <laughs> a week's collection money he'd win at the two ways quiz night. Here's 30 quid. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> Ethics, eh? <laughs> Good, mere bloody trouble not what. <laughs> Pure again, eh? <laughs> 